I'm going to you, Senator Rennick. Hi guys, how are you going? Uh, look, my first question is in regards to the term funding facility and just what the terms of that funding mm. facility is. Uh, when the, uh, is it about the outstanding balance, I think is about 188 billion. And is that money that the banks have lent at a fixed rate when it was taken out? Or does that, is that move in line with the RBA cash rate? That, that money can be lent by banks or used by banks for a whole range of purposes. So some of it might have found its way into fixed rate loans. No, no, but when they borrowed it from you. Oh, when they borrowed it from, from us. RBA, what, uh, what's the rate of interest it's, they're paying? It's fixed. Some of it was fixed at the earlier rate it was taken out at, which is 25 basis points. Right. And, and uh, much of it's fixed at 10 basis points. Right, so they're borrowing <coughs> at 0.1 or 0.15 and they're now lending in it, lending out that money at, uh, you know, well, the various, various market rates. rates. Yeah. Could be anywhere between the overnight cash rate of, what, 3.3% now, 3.25% now, um, up to 5 or 6%. Yep, something like that. Yeah. So in regards to when they park, park it with the RBA, the overnight cash rate, cash rate, they're getting about a 3% margin on that. <coughs> the same money that you've lent to them, they now lend back to you and that's quite a, that's basically free, a free gift to the banks, isn't it, on behalf of the Australian taxpayer? Well. <laughs> I mean, it is a subsidy. It was intended to be because it was put in place, as um, the Deputy Governor suggested, during those dire uh, times what? of March 2020, when the intention was to provide low-cost funding and much of that low-cost funding was passed on to borrowers, including households, but also small businesses, in the form of low-rate low loans. But, any, but yeah, okay, thank you. So any money that's parked overnight, though, at the RBA cash facility isn't actually being passed on, is it? It's, no. They're, they're actually no. creaming 3% no. off the top. I mean, they're borrowing at 0.1 and then they're making a 3% margin, so that's something like a 3,000 percent Yes, return. but I, I suspect yeah. much of it was lent out. Well... Yeah, and, and earning uh, an I even mean, higher return for the banks. You know, that's something I think that, you know, the banks should actually, in my view, be made repaid uh, because I fail to see why they should be getting, you know, money at 0.1% while, you know, hardworking Australians are now, you know, copping it on the chin uh, in regards to their home loans. Um, anyway, I'll leave that as a statement.